What is up, y'all? It is Augie TX, and today we are going to be smoking some ribeyes. So I got these for sale a little bit ago. I got a little smoke in my eyes. Uh, I got these for sale a little bit ago, and um, I'm going to um, be reverse searing them. Reverse searing, if you've never done it before, it is the best way to make steaks on your pellet uh, smoker. So, uh, what I did is I took them out, I, I let them thaw, brought them to a good uh, room temperature, and I seasoned them with Worcestershire, salt, pepper, and then I topped them off with uh, some Kinder's um, uh, garlic herb and butter. And so I threw these on here at, on smoke. I'm gonna smoke these till about uh, 130, 135 degrees. Uh, I'm gonna use my fancy Inkbird probe thermometer. Uh, I think it's gonna take probably about 45 to an hour uh, on there, and then I'm gonna turn it up and then uh, and then uh, sear them after uh, after they've uh, gotten up to temp. All right, see you guys in a little bit. You know what? I'm just kidding. So uh, I wanted uh, I want to make a little or take a little time to show you guys how I run the, uh, the temperature probes. So I'm running a Pit Boss Rancher. Um, it's kind of a I think it's a 700 something like that. Um, they, they all have different names depending on where you bought them. I got mine on uh, used, so I don't actually know where it came from. But um, you'll see. Um, I have my steaks on there, and what I used to do, what I used to do is I used to kind of just pinch them in my other smokers, like I would just kind of just jam them in there, and then my, I think my, uh, it, it would mess up the, I wouldn't have really good longevity uh, for my probes, like I would have to constantly replace the probes. Um, what is cool about uh, the, about the Pit Boss is uh, you, you see that like there's just kind of a superficial plate here that used to have you know some of them have the smoke stack some of them don't um, uh, they don't really serve the same purpose as a regular grill and but you'll notice in the back is where my actual vents are right there see um, so it gives you easy access to run your temperature probes so I usually run mine right there right there right there and then I have my probe sitting on the lid to my uh, to my pellets. All right, I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna show you how it looks. All right, so I have run the temperature probes. It does not look Instagram sexy once you have this, those probes uh, lined up, but uh, it makes for good steaks. So uh, I, I always have one probe monitoring the uh, monitoring the, the, the cabin temperature. Then I have uh, usually probes in my meat. I even do uh, dual probes in uh, my brisket, one in the point side, one in the flat side, uh, because I found that they cook, uh, uh, they, just generally they cook uh, unevenly, but also um, the uh, pellet grill is, um, uh, has hot spots. Like my, the hottest area is usually right under here for me. Uh, so uh, I need to know what the entire thing is doing because uh, your point can get done. I, I had this happen recently. The point got done way before the uh, way before the uh, the fly got done, and I, was, I almost had some uh, really tough uh, tough brisket. But I run it through there the best you can. Close it up. I keep my my uh, ink burr right there. It's magnetic, so that's kind of cool. Uh, I can move it if I need to. Um, the I have my um, my great temperature right there. It's coming back up because I've had it uh, I've had it off, or uh, I've had the lid open uh, filming for you guys. And then I want to get both of these to about to about uh, 130, 135. All right. So I will come back as soon as I get there. Okay. See ya. All right, so one of my steaks is, is ready to pull. So I'm gonna pull that one. I flipped it um, about halfway. This. And I'm gonna pull it and let it rest while the other one, while the other one comes up to temp. 
Uh, after I let it, after the other one comes up to temp, I'm going to pull that one too, and then I'll turn this up as high as it'll go, and uh, and uh, and uh, sear them off. All right, so I have this grill on high, uh, and it is uh, currently 500 degrees on on that uh, gauge. 454 over here. Uh, you can let it get higher. Uh, I am ready to eat, uh, and so is my wife. So I'm gonna go ahead and grill these. So I have opened up that grate, and I'm going to sear these off. Uh, you're just get go, going for that crust, going for that that uh, color. Um, all you need to do, this is. Uh, away from that over. Um, this is uh, called a reverse sear, so you get as hot as you can, and then uh, and then searing it off. Uh, the the meat is already up to temperature within about five degrees, and uh, you just want to get that uh, that nice crust on both sides. Then let it sear, flip it, let it sear, and then uh, take it off and let it rest. Out of that flame, and oh yeah, that looks good. All right, I'm gonna pull these, let them rest for a few minutes, probably 10 to 15, as much as you can bear. Then uh, time to eat. So I'm just gonna cover these with uh, loosely with some uh, foil. And sit there for a little bit so that the uh, juices don't uh, all run out when you cut into them uh, and then we're gonna eat all right so this has been Augie TX I hope you enjoyed this video about how to reverse sear uh, ribeye steaks you can do this with any of your steaks uh, go ahead and <coughs> sorry just choked on my spit uh, go ahead and uh, hit the subscribe button hit like uh, share my videos and stuff like that if you if you enjoy them uh, I'll see you guys next time